Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and the first thing we're going to do here is try not to panic. I know that students see word problems and they kind of lose their minds. So you might be looking at this problem like, oh no, I don't even want to do this with Kate. Look at this. Not only is this a word problem, but look, the answers are algebraic equations. How gross. So I just want to say don't panic. Algebraic equations really do make sense. Let's see how. Okay, so let me just read the problem first. A certain cell phone provider charges a $25 per month fee. Okay, that's one thing we're going to have to pay, $25 per month fee. Plus a one cent per text fee. They're going to charge us also a cent every time we text. And you guys, nowadays with all your unlimited texts and uh, talk and type and data, and you're not used to this, but back in the day we used to pay for every text we sent. Which of the following equations could be used to find the monthly cost C? So I want to set up an equation that I use to find the monthly cost C. I want to find out what C is equal to of the cell phone based on the number of texts sent T. So based on the number of texts sent T means I'm going to have a T somewhere in my equation. But of course we know they don't just charge you, oh, the number of uh, text is the same as our charge. No, it, they give us a little formula here, a little way to figure out how much they're going to charge us. Now, we're looking for the monthly cost. So let's think about in a single month, we are going to pay $25 how many times? Well, it's a $25 per month fee, meaning I pay it once a month. So I'm just going to pay this kind of like flat rate of $25. So I'm going to pay the $25, but that's not the only thing I'm going to pay. There's something else I'm going to pay, and I'm going to pay for my text. Now, students do something really interesting here. They put a one right here for me all the time. They say, oh, look, it's one cent per text. I'll put one times T, and they're so proud of themselves. But I want you to be careful. Here's my warning. Be careful. You used two different kinds of numbers here. This 25 here was a $25. This one here, was it $1 per text? No, heck no, it wasn't. It's only one cent per text. Watch out, math will trick you sometimes if you don't realize that you can only add and subtract the same kinds of things. If I wanna add together the dollars and the cents, I need to have them both written in the same standardized way. So what I'm gonna do is write them both with a dollar sign. We know that if I wanted to talk about one cent as a part of a dollar, I'd have to use that decimal place. That's 0.01 or one hundredth of a dollar. That's how we write one cent with a dollar sign. So if you're going to write this here, you need to put uh, 0 0.01 times the number of texts. That way you're only charging me a cent per text instead of this bad equation, which would charge a dollar per text. Okay, now let's go take a look which one of these equations matches mine. So notice all of them have the C alone to find C, okay? But pay attention, look at this one. This one, they're charging me $25 per text. No way, that would be so expensive. Same thing here, $25 per text. Again, so stupid expensive. Now, on these two, looking good, they are charging me, but careful, this one says one cent per text. This one actually says 10 cents per text. If you have a point, uh -huh. If you have a point one in this first place, this first place is known as the tenths, breaking a dollar into 10 equal pieces. You and I know that if we break a dollar into 10 equal pieces, we end up with 10 dimes, don't we? 10 dimes, that's worth 10 cents. Okay, point one is the same as 10 cents. So this one charges us too much per text. So it must be this one right here. They're charging us one cent per text and they're charging us that $25 monthly fee. They're equation might look a little different, but it's equivalent to mine. And so D is the correct answer here. Okay, so once again, just because it looks like algebra doesn't mean it's hard, y'all. We use some basic common sense to puzzle this one out and some things you've known about money since like, I don't know, third grade. Okay, so if you have any questions about this, be sure to drop them in the comments. I'll do my very best to answer them.